Technology has allowed our lives here on Earth to advance far beyond what we would have ever thought possible even mere decades ago. But it has also allowed us to probe the depths of space in incredibly novel ways. Researchers are constantly amazed by the new possibilities that technological innovations unlock for our understanding of space and are always looking for ways to probe these advances even further to solve some of the many mysteries that abound beyond our atmosphere. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at space discoveries and how they quite literally broaden our horizons. Large Hadron Collider revs up to unprecedented energy levels. When it comes to particle physics, discoveries are being made at such a rapid rate that even industry giants such as the Large Hadron Collider are having to up their game to stay up to speed with the ever-advancing knowledge. The Large Hadron Collider, which is the world's largest and most powerful particle collider, is ubiquitous within the physics world as the catalyst for the discovery of the Higgs boson which confirmed the existence of a particle that was said to have caused the so-called Big Bang that led to the formation of our entire universe. But it seems that this is no longer enough, and researchers have been preparing to ramp up the LHC to probe the inner workings of the building blocks of our universe at more powerful levels than ever before. The machine works by slamming proton particles together at unfathomable speeds to record the resulting collisions, and Following a three-year break to update its capabilities, it has restarted and is running at record-breaking speeds of 13.6 trillion electron volts, which it will continue non-stop for at least four years. During this time, it will send two beams of protons in opposite directions around a 27-kilometer ring at speeds approaching the speed of light. The proton beams themselves will be less than one-seventh of the diameter of a human hair, which will hopefully allow around 1.6 billion proton-proton collisions per second, according to Mike Lamont, the head of accelerators and technology for the European Organization for Nuclear Research. This is an incredible increase in collision rate of about 20 times, which Lamont described as a significant increase, paving the way for new discoveries. The collider, which is owned by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, lies buried 100 meters below the Swiss-French border and the results of the collisions will be analysed by scientists from organisations all over the world for insights into such mysterious principles as dark matter and dark energy. Additionally, this new increased energy rate will hopefully allow researchers to study the properties of the Higgs boson even further, as there are still many questions and potential discoveries regarding this groundbreaking discovery and researchers are even looking ahead beyond the potential advances of this newest run of the Large Hadron Collider, as there are already plans in place for the LHC to be reinvented in 2029 as the High Luminosity Large Hadron Collider, which is projected to increase the number of detectable events by a factor of 10. Additionally, plans for a future circular collider are in the works, which will bypass the 13.6 trillion electrovolt speed of the LHC and reach mind-boggling speeds of up to 100 trillion electrovolts. Despite the futuristic and almost unbelievable capabilities of the current Large Hadron Collider, which is already pushing the limits of what was believed possible, the field of physics is persistent in its desire to unearth the smallest, most deeply hidden secrets surrounding the particles that make up the very fabric of our universe. James Webb Telescope may have found the oldest known galaxy. The newly launched James Webb Space Telescope was one of the most highly anticipated advances in space exploration. And since its launch in December of 2021 and subsequent activation almost six months later, it has made good on these anticipations and has already delivered some amazing, barrier-breaking results. Among these was the discovery of the oldest galaxy that has yet been seen, Galaxy Glass Z13, which was photographed by the telescope and dates back to when the universe was just 300 million years old. This beats the record for the previous oldest galaxy discovered by around 100 million years, and even predates the existence of our Sun by 9 billion years. Planetary scientist Dr. James O'Donoghue took to Twitter to explain the significance of this discovery and provided valuable perspective of the scope, 
saying that when glass Z13 emitted the light we see today, it was about 3 billion light years away from us, or whatever us was back then. The 3 billion light years of space that once separated us from glass Z13 has expanded to over 33 billion light years today. But the James Webb Space Telescope has also found some competition for glass Z13 as the oldest known galaxy in glass Z11, which is located in the same general area of space as the former and whose relative age is currently being reviewed. Other than the remarkable distance which these galaxies are located from us, part of the reason that they had not been discovered before is that they are incredibly small in galactic terms, especially when equated to our own Milky Way, which is about 100,000 light years in diameter compared to glass Z13 and glass Z11, which measure 1600 and 2300 light years in diameter respectively. With regards to the significance of such a discovery, Researchers studying these amazing galaxies do not think that it was a coincidence that two such noteworthy galaxies were discovered so close to each other, as they explained in their paper detailing the discovery, which is currently being peer-reviewed. These two objects already place novel constraints on galaxy evolution in the Cosmic Dawn Epoch, the period from about 50 million years to 1 billion years after the Big Bang. They indicate that the discovery of GNZ11 was not simply a matter of good fortune, but that there is likely a population of UV luminous sources with very high star formation efficiencies. This means that scientists suspect that these two new galaxies are not alone in this category of space, and that the enhanced capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope will allow us to probe these depths and discover many more galaxies as it orbits. An interesting aspect of this discovery, as with any discoveries made of celestial bodies light years away, is the fact that we are not actually looking at the galaxy as it exists in the present day. Because light takes time to travel that far, we are effectively looking back to the early days of this galaxy, which can act as a sort of window in time to what young galaxies looked like when the universe was only a few hundred million years old. Although these galaxies likely no longer look exactly like this, these are valuable opportunities to craft a timeline of the development of the universe throughout the billions of years of its lifetime. Hopefully, further exploration and photographs made by the James Webb Space Telescope will continue to shed light on what is out there, leading to even more discoveries and solved mysteries. NASA rover discovers weird string-like object on Mars. Trash is something that everyone is familiar with littering the surface, and even the atmosphere of our own planet Earth. But you typically do not expect to find trash in faraway space locales such as Mars. Yet that is exactly what has happened as the Mars rover encountered several instances of cast-off rocket landing gear in the form of crumpled paper and tangles of cord. Although at first these items were dubbed mystery items by researchers, they quickly realized that these obstacles were in fact almost certainly debris from the 2021 landing of the Perseverance rover, which discarded its giant supersonic landing parachute and landing gear. The strange image of the mysterious space string went viral, however, before NASA could confirm the theory that it was nothing more than trash placed there by humans. And the internet demanded to know what the odd, spaghetti-like string was and whether it had anything to do with the planet of Mars itself. However, although when it comes to space, the real answer is rarely boring, in this case, researchers had to break the news gently that the photograph taken by the Mars rover was not a strange life form, nor was it proof of an alien civilization. It was nothing more than cast-off debris from a recent mission. And although spreading trash around planets besides our own seems negative, it is in some ways unavoidable, as landing spacecraft on the planet is a rather trash-filled affair. To slow the landing, which occurs at speeds of around 12,000 miles per hour as the spacecraft bursts through the planet's atmosphere, a supersonic parachute, rocket-powered landing gear, and a heat shield are required. In the case of the mystery items found on Mars, the tangle of rope was likely discarded from the parachute and the crumpled, papery material was almost certainly a cast-off from the landing gear. Because it would require an incredible number of resources to collect these pieces of debris, the gear, parachute, and shield are left behind as the spacecraft or rover begins their scientific journey across the planet. 
Although researchers are always on the lookout for anomalies within the dusty red planet, which holds great promise for the discovery of extraterrestrial life, sometimes the things that are found are actually not remarkable and were unwittingly placed there by none other than us humans. NASA is working on a nano starship. When we think of space exploration, we often think of huge rockets launching, gigantic satellites orbiting, or hefty rovers landing. What if we told you the latest development of space exploration, the next space technology, is just the size of a postage stamp? In 2016, a team of scientists, including the late Stephen Hawking, first shared the news of this tiny spacecraft set to explore Alpha Centauri, the nearest star system to us here on Earth. This small ship, destined for interstellar space, has been dubbed Starship. In theory, if we make this ship travel at 20% the speed of light, then it will arrive at the star system in just 20 years. Though, as we know, the conditions in space are not exactly friendly, and there is a very real chance that this small little craft would not survive the journey. We are talking 20 years worth of exposure to the elements, most notably, according to NASA and the Career Institute of Science and Technology, radiation. Researchers have discussed the possibility of rerouting the craft to avoid the areas with the most high-energy radiation. Otherwise, the silicon dioxide layer of this little craft would be severely damaged, and it would not make it to Alpha Centauri functional. However, if the craft takes a less straightforward path, it could add so much time onto the journey that even small levels of radiation would be damaging. Another solution could be to add aspects to the nanocraft that could protect from the radiation, but the additional weight would slow down the starship. A new hypothetical solution has been pitched, designed to allow the ship to heal and repair itself along the journey. So far, this could include an experimental gate all round nanowire transistor. There are still plenty of aspects that need to be considered to this project, though it seems as though one by one we can come up with solutions and ideas that will not compromise the speed or safety of Starship. Earth's magnetic field almost disappeared 565 million years ago. Earth's magnetic field is crucial for our continual survival. It serves us well and, through the aeons, has protected us from solar and interstellar harm. Therefore, it might be frightful to know that at one point in history, this vital shield from the wild, unknown of space, almost faded away into nothingness. Without the magnetic field, Earth would be exposed to solar winds, plasma streams that flow across our solar system from the sun, and space radiation. It is believed that when it nearly disappeared over 565 million years ago, it was salvaged due to a geological miracle where the Earth's core started to solidify while strengthening the decreasing field. By investigating geological crystals, some of which are smaller than grains of sand, researchers were able to successfully analyze our planet's core at that era. Plagioclase and clinoproxene are two minerals that were conveniently created 565 million years ago and are most widely found in Quebec, Canada. With samples of these minerals, ranging from 50 to 100 nanometers in size, scientists discovered that when they are placed into the molten rock, they face the direction of the magnetic field no matter if they are shaken or moved, like a compass. They always face the magnetic direction. In the words of John Tarduno, who works as a professor at the University of Rochester in New York, those tiny magnetic particles are ideal magnetic recorders. When they cool, they lock in a record of Earth's magnetic field that's maintained for billions of years. By analyzing these minerals inside of the magnetometer, scientists understood that these crystals had been incredibly low charge, suggesting that 565 million years ago, the planet's magnetic field was significantly weaker than it is now. Up to 10 times weaker, in fact, the lowest ever documented. According to Tarduno, all this evidence points to the field being extremely unusual. We were at this critical point where the dynamo almost collapsed completely. The dynamo mentioned refers to the geodynamo, which is the function that maintains our magnetic field and keeps it from disappearing, 
Without the dynamo, the field would not exist. The Earth's core used to be entirely liquid. However, at some unknown point in history, anywhere from 2.5 to 500 million years ago, the core solidified in the core's center, meaning the various materials like magnesium, oxygen, and silicon were forcibly pushed out into the outer edges of the core, starting a process known as convection. Convection keeps particles charged and moving, which in turn causes an electric current, and in turn strengthening the magnetic field by energizing it. The convection that is still supporting the field to this day and will do for billions of years in the future. According to Peter Driscoll, a planetary scientist from Washington, D.C., stated the inner core may have occurred right in the nick of time to recharge the geodynamo and save Earth's magnetic shield. This era was followed by the Cambrian explosion that caused animals to spread across the world and evolve into far more intricate beings. Tarduno claims one can speculate, and there have been some speculations, that a weaker magnetic field may have some relationship to these evolutionary events. The theory follows that as a result of the weakening magnetic field, the radiation from space was able to flow into the atmosphere which in turn might have increased chances of mutating animals and species, but also being their catalyst for further evolution. This is an unproven claim. A theory is merely a theory until enough evidence shines through, but it is certainly an interesting outlook. But what do you make of these new discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.